you guessed it, the best 800pp car is still the Nissan R92 CP. After the recent 1.49 update, a lot of cars got nerfed, so the big, big culprits were the modern Group 1 cars. So now all of them, while still being very, very good for this race, come nowhere near close to the Group C monsters. Of them, this is by far the fastest. It will go maybe a second and a half or two seconds a lap quicker than the next nearest one, which is either the Mazda 787B or the XJR9. But it's just an absolutely fantastic car to drive. Um, We've had to swap out the tyres, reduce the power a bit. However, we're still rocking almost 800 brake horsepower and it weighs just 900 kilos. And even with the uh, update that came the other day that made the cars a lot more unstable, it is still really easy to drive. It's not as fast as before, but it still goes round Sardinia in a 130 second lap time probably can get that down to a 129 and the race pace you're talking 23 30 on my at my level a bs driver so if you're better than that you'll probably get down to a 23 20 right to the tune so starting out we're gonna have racing hard tires on that's the max we can squeeze out of the pp and then for height adjustment we're going for 69 to roll bar 810 damping ratio compression 35 expansions can be 45 on both natural frequency 3.5 at the front four and a half at the rear camber angles two and a half at the front one and a half at the rear no toe angles and five on the torque and sensitivity you can turn the acceleration sensitivity up if you're struggling with uh, the power kicking out the back end Next up you want the fully customizable racing transmission, set the setting to 800 and then bring back everything from second gear onwards, so to 230, to 276, 324 and 381, that will bring it all back in nicely. 80 on the power restrictor, 100 on the ECU, 500 downforce at the front, 1496 at the rear, medium RPM turbo and then five brake balance set to the rear and that's it simple tune um, it's just if you've got the car in it with this one it's not cheap and it doesn't come round very often right on to the fastest lap so as we come down the back straight here you're going to want to go over to the right hand side as we come up the crest and then brake as we hit the top of the crest and then aim the car towards the apex on the inside letting it roll around slow and then getting on the power as you come out the apex. Full power through the chicanes and then you're going to want to keep to the right, let the car go smooth, letting it break around the 50 mark, again coming into the apex, letting it roll gentle with the power not to give too much understeer and then straight back on the power. Breaking around the 50 mark again, letting it roll round, roll round and then hitting the power as soon as you see the exit full power all the way down to the back hairpin then you're going to want to brake at the 150 meter mark very very hard on the brakes staying out wide coming into the apex and then coming back out wide getting on the power as soon as you get over that point full acceleration here brake slight left to pull it in and then as close to the wall as you can coming down to the last hairpin, break around the 100 meter mark and again wide, narrow, wide and yeah that's pretty much it, that's great, well I don't know, probably don't mean lift, will lift, oh yeah I'll lift to get around the Lexus. And there you have it, that was on fuel map 1, that was a 130, so yeah easy break 129 there. So that's fuel map 1 all the way around apart from lap 7 where you want to do fuel map 6 to the lap before you come in and that will bring you home for a 23.30.
Easy clean race bonus, 727 grand in the bank in 23 minutes. And like I said at the start, this is a really easy car to drive. So once you're getting it round the corners, letting it do its thing, letting it roll round corners rather than trying to brake and accelerate straight away, it's a dead easy car to control and it just chews up the straights. So yeah, brilliant car. Um, I've just tested it against the XJR9, the Mazda 787B, Toyota GR10, the Dodge Tomahawk, uh, McLaren VGT, none of them come close to this at the moment. But I will uh, push out videos for them coming out shortly. But for now, this is number one. And that's all. So if you like the video, don't forget to like it, leave a comment below, subscribe, and we'll see you all next time. Adios.